Hi guys, it's Patrick from Wrestling Nerds, and as the title said, this is part two to the video that I really, really wanted to do a bit longer, but YouTube wouldn't let me. So if you're here, you don't really need to watch part two, um, or part one, sorry. Man. Yeah, you don't really need to watch part uh, one. Um, general idea is just basically the video I had to cut down the breakdown of what I spent and how much I spent, and this video is a quick kind of what did you spend, Patrick? What did you spend on the flights? What did you spend on the route? I think I did mention it in the other video, but I didn't. Men I know I didn't mention the other flight, and I didn't. I don't think I mentioned properly about the. I think I mentioned the flight going out there, but I didn't mention the total cost. I gave an estimate, which I worked already when I looked earlier. I've had sent the video out, and I've already done it wrong. So the idea, obviously, is the backstory is if you basically just tuning in. Um, last year, this channel went to Corfu, so don't worry. Obviously, as soon as I got back, it was that mindset, I wanted to go back, so I did a lot of research. And we looked looking into holidays, and obviously, they were very expensive holiday Companies are trying to, obviously, recoup the losses, and the thing is, by doing that, they're hitting people who are travelling hard. And being a single traveller, it's hard enough as it is. So, this time, for the first time in a long time, and this is what I thought at Christmas, is that I was going to do independently. Yes, it's a risk with the current climate, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. Um, so basically, people are like, oh, what are you estimating? Also, obviously, with going with Jet 2 last year, I've used them as that price mark of the thing. And the thing is, I'm going to say these prices ain't correct. You know, by the time you're watching this video, these prices are most likely to change. These prices will go down by September, by the time I go out there. Simple fact is they'll probably go down to really, really cheap by the time it gets to September, because they need to sell places. And that's how it works. So I'm going to use the hotel we stopped at last time, and that was August, for um, for seven nights it was £581. And obviously on top of that you need to add your room tax on top, which is, it's, like it's one, I think it was €1.50 a night for the room tax. I will, might be wrong with that, and I will do a different video explaining that, I'll do that on the update to um, the rate of Corfu Sidari 2021 videos, I will do basically talk about room tax and stuff like that because I think I missed them details out but yeah it all goes it was 581 pounds for the week when I started this project it has gone up and it has gone down I have noticed this it was like one week it was 420 quid and then it shot up to like 620 quid everywhere else though hotel wise it's this is what I wrote so 10 nights so for 10 nights you're looking at 600 to a thousand pound and that's general Sadari prices, and that's for 10 nights. And I think they, yeah, so that was for the 10 nights. So I, I just wrote down everywhere else for 10 nights is 600 to a thousand pound. So people are going to be asking, So what did you spend, Patrick, to get this long as holiday independently? Here is what I spent. So obviously, the first flight I think I mentioned it was 75.98. 75.98 for the first flight, it's an early morning flight, I think flying about 7 o'clock in the morning from East Midlands, by the time it gets to it's 12 o'clock Greek time, that's perfect for me, you can get straight on the Mythos. The return flight is a question as well, this is the one that I don't think I mentioned, the return flight I got confused and I was watching the clip that I had to delete yesterday or I didn't release and I said the price was £147.99, being me being a dickhead I didn't read it, the price was £136.99. Right now, do the flights coming back in Euros for some strange reason? So that's what I paid. And then obviously, for the room, I paid, I think I mentioned the reason behind it. I changed the flights obviously from the Eastman one a few days before. So obviously, for the seven nights, I paid £100 for the room. And then coming, then because I ended up going out earlier, I ended up booking the room to the date that I was meant to leave, turn up. So I'll be honest, I, I'm not leaving. Um, in total, that was 60 quid, so in reality, that was 160 quid. And my grand total budget is £384.96, but I'm going to round that up to £385. Also, with the room, the room tax is included, so there's none of that sneaky, sneaky, sneaky charges. So, yeah, I think I've done well considering it currently, you know, we're roughly looking at saving around 200 pounds yes there is a transfer and there's going to be ways around that i couldn't make the cost cheaper if i used a green bus and this is the thing this is the thing that i really really want to do um i've been asked 
you know, and I think this would be like more of a YouTube -y thing is if I'd get the green bus from Corfu, when I land in Corfu and get the bus to Sadari that way. But the thing about it, it's going to be a lot of research into that. And I'll go more into it in the the series where we did a monthly update. And then if there's any breaking news, we'll do a weekly. Like, if there's any breaking news, it'll just come as it comes. So, guys, that was my quick roundup. Yeah, like I said, £385. We know it's £384.96, but round it up. It's been spent so far. Um... That's over at the start of March. I have until September spending money wise. And yeah. Um, hopefully it can be done. I'm hoping it's going to be entertaining. I'm hoping you guys do join me for the journey. And I just want to say. Guys thank you for. Bearing with me. And we'll see you all soon. I've been Patrick. This has been Rathanez. I'll see you later.